What up, YouTube? Topaz Jace here, and I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Broken Land Beats. Then we're going to jump into this review. Well, we're going to do two reviews. First of that AR Rab diss track, and then we're going to do that Chance the Rapper and Little B the Bass God mixtape. Then we're going to take some questions. <laughs> Style is pretty much him hopping on that back to back track and doing his own thing, dissing Meek Mill because he's in support of Drake because Meek Mill pretty much called him out for no particular fucking reason, which that's what Big Mill has been doing. He's just been calling out everybody just for no fucking reason. First things first, man, this should be like a rule of battle rap and shit, man. If you're gonna go at somebody or you're gonna get brought into a diss situation and shit like this, you always should bring in your own track. You should never hop on the instrumental of the party in which you want to join forces with and shit, man. You're definitely gonna have to stand on your own on this shit, man. So you definitely want to drop your own damn project. If you listen to the track, man, it's not terrible or anything thing like that man it's that typical Philly style of just screaming over top of the beats and such but yet he does have some bars in there man like how Nicki Minaj is fucking you with the strap on and stuff like that quite honestly I would take this second tier back to back track over Meek Mill's one and no track so that's just another arrow hit it directly to fucking Meek Mill and yes I've heard Meek Mill's disperses and shit that he's been doing while on tour man I'm like if you're not gonna lay the shit on wax and bring that shit out then don't say shit at all, you dead. But you know, I would say peep this one on out just for comedic value, man. But it's not that damn great. But anyway, on to the Little B and Chance the Rapper mixtape that free the bass freestyles and such, man. And you know what? This goes to show you how good of an ear of music these guys actually have. Because the production from top to bottom was pretty fucking awesome, man. But the problem is... These guys actually did freestyles on these bitches, man. And you know, if I was the producer, I would be like, come on, man. I mean, I'm going to take this fucking money. Hands down, don't ever think this money's coming back to you. But how the fuck am I going to be struggling to make these damn beats as hot as I'm making these motherfuckers? And you going to come in and not even attempt. Like, Chance the Rapper, why do you always gotta have a handicap when you trying to rap and shit? Like, your acid rap album, you just had to be on acid to spit the whole thing. Or, on this shit, you just gotta freestyle the whole thing when you need to be really just focusing on rap. Cause you're barely good enough to do that. Overall, this is not anything new for Lil B, man, but he needs to be fucking focusing on them lyrics and shit too to try to make any kind of decent song. Overall, it comes off as a waste of great production, you dig? These beats could have gone to anybody fucking else and could have been pretty straight. And as I've always said, man, a song is a blend of the hooks, the lyrics, and the beats. And for these guys just to have the beats and nothing else, you pretty much got to drop this project down to like a 3 out of 10. But anyway, on the ass down low pass, and Demetrius asks, am I ever going to get over the whole detox? And you know what? I'm okay with it now. I mean, because Dr. Dre has had this L coming to him for like 10, 12, 14 fucking years. I mean, this L came back to the future with Marty McFly, man, and landed directly onto his fucking chest, and he's going to have to hold that shit. His entire legacy is going to have to hold that shit. But now that that's over with, I'm okay now. We can move past it. And a bunch of people been coming out saying that this Detox album was not rushed. And you know what? Simple math dictates that it was rushed. See, nobody knows how long it took for him to do the chronic, but anyway, we all know how long it took for him to go from the chronic to the chronic 2001. It was something like 12 years, wasn't it? And now we all know how long it took for him to go from the chronic to detox or canceling detox, which was pretty much 14 to 16 fucking years. And I'm going to be generous and say that Dr. Dre spent two years making this Compton project, man. Simple math just says, okay. He only spent two years making this while all of his other projects took at least ten fucking years. And then on top of that, he released it right before a fucking movie came out. 
that he definitely wanted to help in promotion and such and make the soundtrack for that. Like that's what inspired him. So it all came around at the right fucking time. While everything else took a tremendous amount of time. That's just brushing some shit if I've never fucking heard of that before in my life. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPairs.com, that's down there, to read today's article.